Good morning, YouTubers. Um, today is April 18th. Um, uh, oh, all right, all right. So, we all here to talk about the Border Patrol. So, let me talk with y'all about that for a minute while I took my little walk. Um, so, I'm a little annoyed, just a little bit, because... I can see very good. And I mean, I, I'm really gonna need you all to comment on this one. I can see so good. I get, I was wondering what was taking so long with my medical review because the radiologist did my hearing exam and my vision test was very transparent throughout the entire process and was telling me like, oh man, your vision is excellent. Your hearing's perfect. Um, the doctor told me all my extremities are in great condition. Everything is fine. So I'm confused as to what fine is from a medical standpoint if I get an email saying that, oh, they sent me another paper. Even though it's just one form, it's annoying because the one form is talking about my vision, saying that I need to go for a second vision exam. So I, that's when I, you know, I'm very intelligent. So I looked on the Customs and Border Protection website under different requirements. And I specifically looked at the vision requirements. So I, upon looking at the vision requirements, this is what I did. I called the facility where I took my initial exam. And I asked him to pull my chart. And I spoke to the doctor in charge at that time. And as he was looking at my chart, I said, Doc, I'm going to read off to you the requirements set by the the Department of Homeland Security for this job. And I would like for you to compare these requirements to my results. Is that okay? He said, that's fine. So I read those requirements off to him and he looked at, he listened to that. He paused for a minute, looked over my results and said, your test results match up with what you're saying is required. So I'm trying to wrap my head around what the hell is off if an MD uh, you know, a, a trained radiologist and everything is telling me that my vision matches you all's requirements that you have listed on your website. So, nevertheless, I call Comprehensive Health Services. And I'm really just pissed at this point because I told her the exact same thing I just said. And she says, oh, it's just so close. Your vision um, it's 2025 in each eye. It's so close that they, they, they'll they still pass you. They just want a second exam. Like, no, 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 no. Like, like screw that. Like, I'm not hearing that because I'm mad. Because now I have to take more time out my work schedule for, for no uh, apparent reason. If my vision is good enough to pass, like, I just, I don't get it. So now I have to find some type of off, some type of off day to go and do this. I, this was not planned into my schedule. So I have to go get another eye exam. So I'm going to go back to the same facility and let them conduct the eye exam again. And so that's when I asked, I'm like, well, if my vision reads 2025 again, then what? She said, oh, then that's when we send it on up and then they make the final determination. I'm like, so... If it's 2025 in both eyes and you're saying that's so close and it, it's damn near, it, it is passable because I can't see what, what, what are your hesitations about? Like they would really, so I'm trying to understand, would the Border Patrol really reject me for my vision being 2025, which I don't even think that's accurate because I can see very well. I'm young. My eyes have always worked for me. I've never been exposed to bright lights or nothing like that or strobe lighting for long periods of time to, to complicate my vision. I even do fucking eye exercises at that. When I wake up, I don't even open my eyes directly. I do little motions to help my vision. So, you know, I'm going to go back there. But I'm just really frustrated, you all, because this process is already tedious as it is. And even though it's moving fast, or it, it was moving fast, now it seems to has has hit this hiccup point of, okay, because now I got rescheduled for my physical fitness test one. Um, that got pushed till next month, around like Mother's Day or something. It's around that day, around that time. So I have to retake that around Mother's Day, and so now I have 
this this form that I have to have turned in within 30 days. So, and it's so annoying. It really is. Um, because I just couldn't understand why I hadn't received my drug test screen yet. Because I was told that after you finish your physical, you know, within within a certain amount of time, you start you getting an email or phone call or whatever for your drug test. So I just was like, well, damn, I took my medical exam a while ago. You know, what's the problem? So come to find out the vision is the only issue. But well, it's not even an issue, as she said. It's just a, 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 I don't even know what to call it. It's not a concern. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to fucking call it. So anybody else out there that can relate to this particular situation, or you may have something that's somewhat similar, please comment, you know, below. Um, don't forget to subscribe. You know, if you going through the process, whether it's Border Patrol agent or Customs and Border Prote Protection Officer, you know, subscribe um, for my updates and everything like that. Um, but I'm really upset right now. So um, I still spoke to another recruiter today and asked him, you know, what is the ideal time that they like to start the hiring process? <sighs> and he said that the, the ideal time is, you know, end of June. Which, that makes a lot of sense to me, the end of June, being that that's the summer. And the reason why they want us down there for basic training, you guys, during the peak months, July, August, September, is because 10 times out of 10, we are going to be working. After we graduate the academy, we're going to be working in those months in that 100 degree, 100 degree plus heat. So they don't want to start the training, the basic training, towards the end of summer because those are more of the cooler months, you know, 70s, 80s, and we'll be accustomed to that. I think all of us can can survive in 70, 80 degree weather, even 90. But those high hundreds really test your 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 endurance for the heat and your and your tolerability if you can tolerate it. So that's why they want us to go through basic training in the high 100 degree plus heat so that way either you're going to make it now or you never will because it, it, it hurts you more than it helps you for us to train you in the in the fall and winter months and you haven't had any training whatsoever in the hot summer peak months so now you're only used to that 70 80 90 degree weather and so now your first shift come july of next year where it's 120 degrees you're like what the hell so, because um, a lot of people ask me, like, well, how do you know that they're going to start the basic training around the time? I'm, that, that, that is the, what I've been told. That is um, my, my philosophy I already had in my head because it makes a lot of sense. Um, a lot of you all know if you watch my past videos, I'm very, I'm very informational. I pride myself on information, which is probably why I'm going to outdo all you guys at the academy as far as academics go. I'm always ahead of the game, just saying. But... <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm always up on information. I'm always studying and researching and finding out things because um, it pays off in the end. So I'm just really annoyed. So that's where I'm at right now. Physical fitness test, retake around Mother's Day. Um, yeah, physical fitness test, retake around Mother's Day. And I got to get this damn medical form done for my vision. So don't forget, like comment please subscribe you guys that helps me you know to see my subscribers they kind of going up um let me see make sure you down to download the customs and border patrol app too have a great one guys